Mysterious psych presence, the great white sharks kill the megalodon. Did the great white sharks drive megalodon to extinction? An earlier extinction date puts megalodon's fall in line with the rise of the great white sharks. The largest shark that ever lived, the prehistoric and certainly extinct megalodon might have been driven to extinction by a smaller and nimbler competitor that still roams the seas today, the great white shark. The giant Otodus megalodon once reached lengths of 50 feet. While not the only large shark to swim ancient seas, it was the biggest and has grabbed modern imagination. The fixation on the beast springs from a strong foundation Megalodon's jaws could open wide enough to swallow two adults standing side by side, writes Josh Davis for the National History Museum in London, United Kingdom. Megalodon's physical length is accompanied by a long fossil record. The shark reigned in the oceans for about 13 million years. Research pegged the behemoth's extinction to around 2.6 million years ago, but a new study Challenges that date, writes Nicholas Rivero from Quartz. Robert Bussenecker, a paleontologist at the College of Charleston in South Carolina and lead author of the new study, and his colleagues revisited various fossils of Megalodon. Their new analysis, published in the journal Pier J, pushes Megalodon's extinction date back to about a million years earlier than previously thought. The researchers used the same data set that earlier work had relied upon to date Megalodon's death, but all the fossils tagged as younger than 3.6 million years had problems. They had imprecise dates, had been misidentified, or the dating has since been refined based on better geology methods, a press statement from University of Wisconsin Oshkosh explains, after making extensive adjustments to this worldwide sample and statistically reanalyzing the data, we found that the extinction of Omegalodon must have happened at least 1 million years earlier than previously determined. Bussenecker says, says in the statement, the new date offers a big clue as to how Megalodon went extinct. It coincides with the rise of the Great White Shark, writes Maya V. Haas from National Geography. Scientists had previously tied the Megalodon's disappearance from the fossil record to a marine extinction at the end of the Pliocene epoch, perhaps triggered by a supernova that sent harmful radiation towards Earth. With the new dates, there aren't any events or changes that were widespread enough to explain the megalodon's die-out, just the appearance of the great white shark on the scene. Nothing else is that cosmopolitan. Bosonecker tells National Geographic, great white sharks are smaller than the megalodon was but they could have competed against juvenile megalodons. Other changes in the ocean at the time could have been just enough to make the difference. The megalodon was dealing with dwindling populations of the small whales they ate and shrinking into smaller, more fragmented populations, writes Melissa Christina from Forbes. Under those threats, the appearance of the great white shark spelled the larger predator's doom. The great white shark has to survive about 10 million warriors to beat Megalodon's record. But from a more inclusive point of view, both creatures can enjoy a reputation of adaptive success. All sorts of sharks have roamed the world's oceans for more than 350 million years. What's a little squabbling among species against that impressive records? Are you aware of any more facts about the Megalodons and the Great White Sharks? If so, please comment down below. Don't forget to click on the like button and please share our video with your friends. Please subscribe to our channel and yes, click on the notification bell so that you would be informed when we post some new videos. Thanks for watching.